Most eVTOL companies are thinking at air taxi scale, offering just two to five seats. Lilium is a notable exception, putting forth a whopping seven-seat air minibus design and prioritizing longer trips. But there are very few companies thinking at that kind of scale. The audacious New York City startup is thinking in terms of 40 passengers plus a pilot per flight, or an enormous 10,000 pounds of cargo, and apparently long distances and high speeds too, since the Kelicona website promises these VTOL sky buses will make the 330 mile journey between LA and San Francisco in just one hour. The airframe is certainly an interesting design. It'll rise off the ground in VTOL operation using four banks of two large ducted fans with various pitch blades. These fan banks will then tilt forward to get the giant bird moving into forward flight. But where most vectored thrust eVTOLs have large, wide wings, Kelicona plans to rely on the body shape alone to provide enough lift for efficient forward flight. Thus, it's got a chunky, flat, wide body with a mild teardrop shape to the side profile. The front is rounded, the rear end is tapered, the bottom looks pretty flat, and the top is slightly domed to turn the whole thing into a lifting surface. And we're fascinated to learn how the aerodynamics will work. Surely it'll have to be moving pretty fast to support itself in the sky carrying 40 people, and the kind of colossal battery bank you'll need for inner city flights, well, that's going to be massive too. Charging those things will be no trivial matter either. We must be talking about several megawatt hours worth of high density lithium batteries here, but again, they really haven't said. If you were to plug that thing into a wall socket, you might be ready to fly the thing back home, well, in a few weeks. Thus, Kelicona is planning to make the entire battery pack swappable, rolling the whole underfloor of the aircraft out to be slow charged while the big sky bus moves onto the next destination. The Kelicona design might be able to operate off something three to four times the size of, say, a regular helipad, still challenging to make space for in an urban environment, but easier than if it had a couple of hundred feet of wingspan to think about. It's going to have to fly fast and far to operate efficiently. And that means its energy requirements will be absolutely epic. It's a fascinating and different proposition that seems aerodynamically improbable and energetically even harder. I've heard that uh, the founder has lined up a couple of talks, and uh, I will bring you more information about this extremely odd aircraft as it's released here on your weekly tech update. You know, being a sci-fi fan, it is really, really exciting to see what's happening with sci-fi in this day and age. It really seemed to go away for a little while, and now, with the thanks of Netflix and Amazon and Apple and all the other big players in the TV industry these days, it seems to be coming back with a vengeance. Apple has just released the first official trailer for the sci-fi blockbuster, The Tomorrow War. It debuts on July 2nd, and it stars Chris Pratt. He plays a high school teacher and military vet who is recruited by a group of time travelers to fight a war 30 years in the future. In the movie, an alien species threatens life on Earth, and the only hope for survival is for soldiers and civilians from the present to travel to the year 2051 and help save the planet. Dan teams up with his estranged father, played by J.K. Simmons, and a brilliant scientist to rewrite the fate of mankind. In the trailer, soldiers from the future interrupt a televised soccer match to recruit present-day Fighters. We are fighting a war 30 years in the future. This is this a joke? Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. You got drafted. I will be back. Why is this happening? What about the teacher's deferment and the veteran's deferment? If I don't go, they're going to draft you in my place. But if something does happen to me, you and Mary will be taken care of. If something happens to you, Dan, 70% of draftees do not return. Sometimes a man does what's best for his family, not himself. Move your shirt, please. 
What's this for? It was just a test. Oh, a seatbelt. Was it a driving test? No, you don't have jokes in the future? This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Oh, here, buddy. Take that. You just look around like that. How are you so calm? Long story. Be yeah, ex military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 months' time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the Earth. Unless you. Help us. I was trying to save my daughter. If I got to save the world to save her, then I'm going to do it. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the Earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. There's still a chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. So we got to fight. Well, it was nice knowing you. Amazon reportedly spent $200 million for the distribution rights for the movie, developed and produced by Skydance Media. Almost two years ago now, two space exploration aeronauts got together to find a way for people to skip airports and fly straight to their destinations. Both had just worked on the Falcon 9, the first orbital class rocket capable of reflight, and the SpaceX Crew Dragon, a class of reusable spacecraft that carries up to seven passengers and cargo to and from Earth's orbit. Inspired by their space rocket pioneering, Jamie Gold and Evan McCasey, co-founders of LA-based Talon Air, designed an aircraft that can fly like a plane, but launches and lands with the help of a large drone, much like a tugboat that maneuvers a ship to and from the dock. The unmanned drone will consume its own battery power to lift the Talon eVTOL to its flight level, where it will then release the eVTOL once its rotors reach a flight-sustaining speed. The drone will then return to its base to be recharged for another lift or landing mission. Having saved all of its battery power for actual flight, Talon's eVTOL will be able to fly up to five passengers at 200 miles per hour for 300 miles. Talon says its dynamic duo will be more cost-effective because it won't require the typical tilt rotor system found on its competitors' designs. The company says commuter times will be dramatically shorter since it will fly between destinations rather than from air airport to airport. An air trip from New York City to Boston, according to the company, will be four times faster with the Talon than on other traditional commuter flights. The founders recognize significant engineering obstacles exist for their concept eVTOL, but they look forward to tackling the extremely hard challenges of making mid-air separation and docking of vehicles a reliable reality.